Welcome to Innovation Dialogue. I'm Diana Ding. And today we are going to talk about the first Chinese American woman president of Rotary Club in Cupertino. Here we are with President Hong Wei. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Hi, Diana. Good to see you. Yeah, we are so happy and so honored to have you as our president. But talking about Rotary Club, when did you join the club? I joined Rotary Club, actually, I know exact the date. It's September 12th, 2007. Mm -hmm. And actually, I've been going to Rotary for a couple of years already. And then I actually donated to a lot of their fundraising activities. I really admire what they do. So after a couple of years, my friend said, you're here anyway. Why don't you join Rotary? So I, I mm -hmm. did join. I'm very happy that I joined mm -hmm. Rotary. Yeah, I see so many people join the Rotary from the, you know, the, with the different reasons. But later on, uh, each one of them or each one of us mm -hmm. feels so happy and so proud of our club. Yeah. So actually, different people, different join Rotary for different reasons. Some mm -hmm. join for business connections. Some join because they feel that they have some time. And basically, we really have a model that people join for business connections, for friendship, but they stay because they like to serve the community. Mm -hmm. Because of the so many projects we do that, uh, that touches their heart. So people stay in Rotary because they really want to give back. Mm -hmm. So actually, you, uh, you've been serving the community for a long time. You were on the school board for, from 2008. Yes. Uh, it's a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what made you, you know, join the uh, service for the community? Well, you know, we, we love our home, right? Mm -hmm. And when we take care of home, we take care of kids, take care of parents, our spouse. This is our home. Community is like our home. Mm -hmm. We live in the community. This is like a bigger home mm -hmm. that we live in. So mm -hmm. giving back to our community is like giving back to our own home. So mm -hmm. I feel that this, is, this makes me happy. And on the way, when we do things, we make a lot of friends. Yeah, before 2008, mm -hmm. or before, even earlier mm -hmm. than that, when you first joined as a school board, what did you do? And uh, uh, well, what made you start it, actually? Because I know that so mm -hmm. many people, especially you know, Chinese Americans, mm -hmm. they, they've been here. I know many people, they've been here for so many years, but they're still not joining any community things. So what made you involved in this? Well, you know, when my kids started to go to school, I, I thought that school is just school. So I sent them to school. I really didn't do anything. Then one day, um, a couple of people called, called me and said, you know, you should really come to school and help. I said, help? What does school need other help for? Yeah. So when I learned that, actually, the American schools, they're great schools, but basically they provide just a teaching environment. They get teacher salaries. They have teacher classes. Mm -hmm. but. After that, everything we do in school, any sports, any music programs, arts programs, it's all sponsored by the PTA, mm -hmm. Parent Teacher Association, basically parents. So that's when I started to really join a lot of school activities, give it back to the schools. That, that's a starting point. Mm, so it's, you joined PTA as a member first. That's right. Yeah. Then, then later on, you become mm -hmm. a school board. Yeah, and later on, you, know, you join PTA, and mm -hmm. you become PTA presidents, and you are helping a lot of projects. So mm -hmm. when the school needs um, a school board, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people say, hey, you know mm -hmm. about school business. You care mm -hmm. about the schools. You care about the people's kids. Mm -hmm. Why don't you? run for school board. So that's, you know, like one thing leads to another. Mm -hmm. well, well, so many people would like to join the community and serve mm -hmm. as a member, uh, like many of us will do that. But it's not easy to be a leader. So what, what, what's motivation that well, you? Well, let me tell you then what's a leader. I think actually consider the leader is mm -hmm. a cheerleader. Mm -hmm. I feel that a leader is someone who stands on the sideline mm -hmm. and cheers for their members, mm -hmm. for their other parents, for their mm -hmm. students to do what they can do. Mm -hmm. So I consider myself the biggest cheerleader in Cooper mm -hmm. Hill Rotary, and mm -hmm. I'm the biggest fan mm -hmm. for every member of Cooper Hill Rotary. So as a cheerleader for this year, 2014 and yes. 2015, yeah. and what's your goals to achieve? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really honored and I'm very happy to be a cheerleader for our club. And the membership um, that we have, over 205 members right now, mm -hmm. it's really diverse. It represents our community, and that's our strength. So my three goals for this year would be ownership, is every and each member of our club, whether they have time for one hour a week, one hour a month, mm -hmm. one hour a year, every project we do, they have ownership in it. You mean everybody own the, the project? Own the, all the projects. Uh -huh. Cupertino Rotary does mm -hmm. about over 50 projects mm -hmm. locally as well as worldwide. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can do every project, but every project that our members do belongs to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to feel that they own this club, they have ownership in all the projects we do, as well as I encourage 
them to champion a project. Something that touches their heart, they can come to Rotary. We have four avenue service. They can pick an avenue service that's to their heart, that goes with their project, and champion the project. Mm -hmm. Our members will support them. So I've been talking to a lot of members, and I encourage them to champion a project that they that touch their heart. And I said, I'm going to be your ch biggest cheerleader. Mm -hmm. So what, would, what's you know, a project that touch your heart most? You know what? Um, the projects that touch my heart most actually are still for the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, the kids around us. People say we have very affluent kids, affluent families, mm -hmm. but we do have some kids that need help. Mm -hmm. We have some kids in our community that they are hungry and that they need support. Yeah, people yeah. probably won't believe mm -hmm. this. Oh, Cupertino is um, one of the richest uh, city in Silicon Valley, yes. and Silicon mm -hmm. Valley is the richest place in the United States. They will probably don't believe that there's still so many people need help. Yes, we also have a rotating, sh rotating shelter right mm -hmm. in our area, and you mm -hmm. know about rotating shelter yes. program. It's for homeless men, and mm -hmm. we, we rotate churches. We provide them food and place to shower. Mm -hmm. There are homeless people mm -hmm. right in our community. Yeah, you said three goals mm -hmm. to achieve. Then the first one is ownership. ownership. And the then second one is, that's a byproduct of mm -hmm. joining a service community, mm -hmm. is friendship. Mm -hmm. When you are painting a house alongside with a friend, when you are feeding the hungry, when you are helping the kids, mm -hmm. you make friends along the way. Yeah, so true. friendship is one thing, one of my other major mm -hmm. uh, three of the ships that I'm emphasizing this year. Mm -hmm. And you know, in our age, in any age, and, and if what we is your age, in, wake up. <laughs> well, it's not a secret. <laughs> I am a year younger than my club. Okay. <laughs> so in our age, or in any age, if we don't keep on making friends, mm -hmm we will only lose friends. That's so true. we keep, we need to keep on looking friends. Mm -hmm. How do we make friends? We do things together. together. We build friendship. Yes. And so friendship is the, the other ship that's uh, one of my goals. Mm, yeah, I think mm -hmm. that this ship is really, you know, I, I'm on that ship. <laughs> <laughs> you are on yeah, ship. Yeah, I made yes, a lot of good ship. friends in Rotary Club. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, when I first went mm -hmm. there, you know, at the beginning I thought I don't have time, I don't have energy, or I, mm -hmm. don't, I don't have enough money. But later on I found out that, you know, you found that's the place that you belong to. You really enjoy it, you know, with the people. And I said, oh, we got the best people mm -hmm. in our class. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. working together help the community actually give us energy. Yes, you know, it, it, it fuels energy. Other people's energy fuel our energy. So mm -hmm. it's a really great place. And I, don't, I guess I don't have to preach it to you. <laughs> yeah, but I really yeah. like to, you know, people ask me, what's Rotary? What I say is, if you're 18 mm -hmm. years older, you're not a teenager anymore. You can't mm -hmm. join a high school service club. Mm -hmm. You belong to Rotary. Mm -hmm. Rotary is a service above self organization. It's a group of people getting together mm -hmm. and they want to serve the community. Mm -hmm. Whether they can serve a little mm -hmm. or serve a lot, that depends on their time and their schedules. Mm -hmm. But as long as you serve, you're going to make friends and you're going to feel really good and you belong to this big family of our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also the, the, there is some major difference between Rotary Club and other nonprofit mm -hmm. organizations because you can join any other nonprofit Absolutely. organization. Yeah. But Rotary Club is different than the others. Yeah. Well, you know, I actually encourage people to join just one or two. If mm -hmm. they feel that they want to join their church, mm -hmm. they want to join Lions Club, mm -hmm. that's fine too. But Cupertino Rotary to me and to you, I think is very special yeah, that's because true. we are um, really, we are very grassroots people. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we're, most of us are, I want to say we're just ordinary people. Who we want are, to, yes. yes. Everybody is, yeah. <laughs> who want to make friends and mm -hmm. do something for our community yes. together. Mm -hmm. We make a difference one project mm -hmm. at a time. And yeah. a very good thing is you also learn a lot in the Rotary Club. Even mm -hmm. though it's a nonprofit organization, but mm -hmm. it's running like a big company. Yes, it's mm -hmm. very Actually, it's very, very efficient. organized, yeah, very, very efficient. Organized, yes. Our meeting starts from 12 to 1.30 mm -hmm. sharp, and mm -hmm. then from 1 to 1.30, we always have a speaker. Mm -hmm. That's very informational, and it gives us um, lots of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, And that's a really uh, great place to learn a lot of things. I've learned a lot of things from our speakers. So what is your third ship? The third ship is, I hope a lot of people will be on board, mm -hmm. become our member, so that's membership. Okay. I wish that with our ownership, mm -hmm. friendship, and membership, mm -hmm. that people would come on board and become mm -hmm. a Rotary member. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mentioned mm -hmm. about the three ships, but mm -hmm. for the first one, ownership, how do you achieve that? Well, you know, I 
and I said again, I'm the biggest cheerleader and biggest fan of our club members. Mm -hmm. I'm going to empower our club members to be champions mm -hmm. of our projects. Mm -hmm. So they own the projects that we do, and they feel that they have ownership. You mean that in, each in, person, mm -hmm. well, because we have 50 projects, so, mm -hmm. so each member, they can own one or two. Like That's right. They can volunteer. For example, mm -hmm. we have Rebuilding Together. Mm -hmm. Every time we do Rebuilding Together, we have about maybe 50 members mm -hmm. volunteer, and they own that project. Mm -hmm. Each and well, they can. Some people volunteer for five hours. Mm -hmm. Some people volunteer for thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. But no matter what you do, you're part of that project mm -hmm. and yeah. you own so that because, project. Because you know they already mm -hmm. join the project. There are so many projects. I join some of the projects. Yes. Yeah. But you know, mm -hmm. join a project as a co-chair, as a member, is different than you own the project. Mm -hmm. No, I think everybody, as long mm -hmm. as they join that project, they and own the that, project. That means you own the yes, project. Yes, that's you own the project. Okay. You have something. You you know you 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 kind of has. Um, it's a big block, but you own one of the blocks, mm -hmm. and you can't. The block will not be complete without that one small piece. Mm -hmm. We, are, every one of us, is a small piece mm -hmm. in this world, but we are an important piece. Yeah, I you know, this mm -hmm. year is really interesting. Uh, uh, Gary Huang is an yes. international mm -hmm. president, yes. and you, you are the first the Chinese American woman as a president in our club. And what, what's your mission? I am very honored that the mm -hmm. Rotary International President mm -hmm. is a first Chinese American president. Yeah. Is and, this uh, Chinese American or Chinese Taiwanese? Um, oh no no, Taiwan Taiwanese. Taiwanese American president. <laughs> oh, the, Taiwanese the, American. The first Chinese president. Yeah, yeah first and, Chinese. And that's a really honor. That's mm -hmm. that's a big goal. Mm -hmm. And and I'm very proud of Gary. Mm -hmm. And when I met him, we met him a couple yeah, times. That's right. And it's just a coincidence that when I'm Cupertino president, that mm -hmm. our RI president is from Taiwan, mm -hmm. and um, I think our goal is the same. Gary's goal is light up light Rotary. Light up the Rotary, yes. To light up Rotary is to do more community service, mm -hmm. to make people know what Rotary does, and join Rotary membership. Mm -hmm. That's what light up Rotary is all about. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's a very mm -hmm. fitting thing. And yeah. that's when, when, actually from his thing, I, th I thought about, you know, to light up Rotary, we have to, everybody has to own the Rotary in order for mm -hmm. them to light up Rotary. So that's where ownership mm -hmm. comes from. Yeah, light up Rotary with mm -hmm. your heart, with yes. your love. Mm -hmm. So let's work together to light up the Rotary and our community. Yes. So one of my last slide in every meeting would be together with our hands and our heart, Mm -hmm. We make a difference one project at a time. Yes, uh, together with our heart and our hands, we make one project at a time. Okay, thank you so much for joining our show. Thank you, Diana. As a startup in Silicon Valley, innovation is our DNA, it's inside our blood. What is innovation? Very confident. It's a way of thinking, it's a philosophy, it's a mindset. Uh, it's very closely related to leadership. For me, it's really about finding the right, the right fit between the product and the market. Have a strong technology position, a, a strong market impact. Innovation can be an idea can be a product, can be a service, or can be a thinking. It can be everything out of box thinking, not limited to your background, to the past. Welcome to Innovation Dialogue. I'm Diana Ding, and today we are going to talk about Cloud Festival. Today we have Carrie Davis and she's here to share her story which is so inspiring. What we are doing here is to summarize, bring out the point and give a good presentation. Help people to bring out their idea to the whole world. It's very important to be able to spot uh, human talent and to be a good leader. More importantly, it's how our corporate and uh, partners perceive the value that's come out of the event. Mm -hmm. It's all about uh, seizing the opportunity rather than looking at the world as a set of problems. I want to change the paradigm of angel investing being local. I want 
all of us to think global and to look at great opportunities in Asia or Europe, wherever it is in the world. Come, come to Ding Ding TV. Let us work together to bring out your idea to share with the whole world.